at Backpacker. We pride ourselves in our gear testing. Over the past winter through early summer, we've tested upwards of 40 bags in the field. These three did especially well for weatherproofing, but as with a well cared for bag, it is only the kind of weatherproofing that experiences the random leaky tent fly or condensation in the tent, nothing serious. So we wanted to put these three waterproof, breathable bags through a couple of pretty ludicrous tests. Um, which we'll get to in a second. First bag is the Sierra Designs Trade Wind 15, 15 degree bag with a waterproof breathable shell called Dry Zone and a stitch pattern called a Tuck Stitch, which tries to keep uh, water away from vulnerable stitching areas. Second bag is a Rab Summit Alpine 500, 20 degree bag with a Pertex shell. And the third is Big Agnes Nugget 45, a bag with fully uh, taped seams and it's a 45 degree summer bag. It's filled as a synthetic 50% recycled material. Test one, online editor Anthony Saratani. This is gonna simulate various rain conditions with the garden hose. <laughs> the well-aimed rain. <laughs> Into the face definitely got me wet. Let's check the inside of the bag. Let's watch it beat up here. A little wetness up here where there happens to be no fabric to stop it from coming in. <laughs> but otherwise, pretty dry. On the main body of the bag, you can see some puddle forming. Um, it's keeping the water out of there pretty good. We did experience some puddling on the side. Came through with the zipper. dry as a bone inside except some drops on my forehead. Uh, no leaking whatsoever, not even along the zipper. And you can see some massive pooling <laughs> on top. <laughs> yeah, why, why get a bivy when you have this bag? Shell fabric in all three of these bags performed really well. Um, they're all laying out here on the, on the lawn. It's about 80 degrees outside. It's been here for maybe 10 minutes, already dry. Um, the main differences with each of these bags, one with this one, Anthony sprayed me in the face. <laughs> so if you happen to get rained on in the face, uh, that's a, a detriment, but that would happen with any bag, right? Um, but the zipper, angled off to the side, helps the simulated rain pour right over. The wrap, the fabric also worked great. Uh, the Protex fabric, where we experienced uh, some problems, it was right here on the zipper. See the zipper sort of on the upper end of the bag, and we had some water coming through and pooling inside. And the Big Agnes, I would name the champ of the simulated rain test, has a huge rain flap covering the zipper. Um, and there's not a single seam, and it's all welded construction. So, bomber.